Okay, um, so I wanted to make a very real video um, about um, what it's like being in a relationship when you have ulcerative colitis, when you have Crohn's disease or another form of serious illness. Um, and uh, when I say real, like, I think sometimes what people don't see um, when you uh, when you watch a video and you know someone one of these gurus is telling you about the way they've cured themselves, the way they've overcome their disease, uh, it it really focuses on the positives um, and the steps that you can take to 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 overcome the disease yourself and sort of a you know they. Uh, they might show you a sort of a before image um, and then they basically talk about all these positive steps that they've taken and how their life is so wonderful now and uh, but it's um, I wanted to talk about the relationships aspect so for anyone who's, who's in a relationship um, and has ulcerative colitis or perhaps someone who is in a relationship with someone who has a disease like that <clears throat> um, it's it's really very difficult. Um, it's difficult for the person who has the disease and it's difficult for the person who's in a relationship with the person who has the disease. So, like, the, the person who has the disease um, is obviously going through hardship in terms of, you know, the physical pain and stuff. And my dog's about to knock my camera over. Um, but, you know, the, the person who's going through... Woody, no. Uh, <laughs> the... The person who's going through the disease um, has a lot of, you know, uh, physical pain and emotional pain, and the physical pain may lead to poor sleep. The, it may lead to, um, you know, bad mood, lack of energy, irritability. Um, that person's going through um, the sort of is enduring the the sort of uh, direct impacts of of the disease itself. But then also, the person who has the disease. Uh, puts pressure on themselves to um, make sure that their significant other, their partner, um, doesn't have to go through the disease. So, you know, there, there'll be pressure to always be up and happy. There'll be pressure to, you know, not make the other person feel like they're limited. So maybe you go and eat things you shouldn't eat. You drink things you shouldn't drink. You take part in something stressful that you shouldn't take part in. Um, because you don't want the other person to have a shit life. You don't want the other person to struggle. You want the other person to live, to have as normal a life as possible. Uh, and then on the flip side, you know, instead of like bending over backwards for them and, you know, kind of doing everything that they want to do and making them feel good, which ultimately hurts your health, um, what you may decide to do is focus entirely on yourself and really just try and cure yourself. So be very, very, you know, regimented, diligent on your diet. Um, be very diligent in, on your, your lifestyle, whether it's that you wake up and you meditate or whatever it is, you know, you, you may kind of become almost orthorexic and kind of obsessed with, you know, eating certain foods, doing certain things, breathing in a certain way, whatever it is, um, with a view to cure yourself. And that can sometimes come across as very selfish to the to the other person, and it can have a big impact on their quality of life. Um, but really, the reason that you're wanting to cure yourself, at least this is true of, of me anyway, is not selfish. It's it's not it's not trying to um, it's not trying to. Uh, just feel better like I'm trying to feel better for my wife I'm trying to feel better uh, for my dog like I want us to have great lives you know I want to I want to go through like a, a struggle for three six nine months um, and then for the next 60 years have the most amazing life possible right you know that's that that that's 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 my goal and my goal is to give my wife and my dog and my future kids the, the best life that I can possibly give them. And the only way I can do that is by being healthy, right? The only way that I can do that, the only way that we can have a somewhat normal life is if I'm healthy, is if I'm able to go and do the things that I and they want to do, you know? Um, but it's very difficult to have that conversation with someone 
um, and to really make your partner feel like the actions that you are taking um, are not selfish, you know? Um, as I say, this, this is a very real video, so you know, you'd be right in drawing the conclusion that my wife and I have struggled a bit with this and you know, there's been arguments and, um, but I, I, I think we're in a good place now, you know, um, but there's, there's definitely been times where it's been trying. There's been times where, uh, it's been very difficult because, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to balance keeping my wife happy with, um, keeping my health on track with not coming across as selfish, um, with, you know, like it, there's, it's, it's a really complex situation for someone who's in a relationship with a terminal disease. It's very, very tricky to navigate. Um, and well, I guess what I've learned is you have to make very clear the reasons why you are embarking on your healing journey, okay? So it's not just for you. It's not for you. You are, you are not trying to get better for you. You are trying to get better for everyone involved in your ecosystem, right? Any, anyone who you come into contact with, anyone who you speak to, your friends, your family, your acquaintances, all of these people will, will notice and realize the difference in you when you are healthy because you are a different person, okay? But going back to that sort of relationship aspect, you need to make very clear to, to that person the reasons you're embarking on this journey and really get them to view this as, as teamwork because you guys are working together for your future. You, you're not working together for, you know, just yours or my future. You're working together for the team's future. And um, that's one of the most important things to get across because it really can come across as, as very selfish. Like if I'm waking up and just having shakes all day every day and I don't want to go out for dinner and I don't want to go see her friends or go out for you know her work social drinks or whatever you come across as a real bore and believe me you probably you're probably picking this up we, we've had these conversations um, and they're not fun conversations and they don't really tend to end well um, but um, yeah you know I, I feel like now we're in a good place, but it, there, there's certainly been that teething period where you're, 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 you're each trying to balance your motives um, because she really wants me to be healthy as well, right? She, she wants me to be healthy for me um, and I want me to be healthy for me and us. Um, but it's difficult when you're in a relationship with someone who's sick because your life is really limited and, and you, you can't help even if you say you don't resent them, you can't help but resent them at least a little bit. Um, and if you're suffering, if you're sick, that's something you just have to accept, right? That that person will have resentment towards what's going on, right? And they may say, oh, it's not you I hate, it's your disease I hate. Um, but you will still take that personally. And, you know, it's it's something that you just have to accept. You know, you, you, you need to make sure that you guys have a very open and honest discussion about the healing journey that you guys are on um, because you are a team and your health is your family's health, your health is your friend's health. Um, you are gonna perform better in every situation as a healthy person and that is gonna rub off on everyone who you come into contact with. Um, so just make sure like expectations are managed um, about uh, about the reasons that you guys are getting into this together. Um, so, uh, so that's it. Um, like I say, that's that's kind of a, a real video. I didn't really know exactly where I was gonna go with where I was gonna go with it. I just wanted to talk about the relationship aspect because it's it's a tough one. It's it's complicated. It's it's emotional. Um, but uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna be posting um, in the coming few days and weeks. Um, on the diet that I'm following now. Um, for those of you who've seen my previous videos, my healing journey's come a very, very long way. Um, and I'm gonna be following up with some content on the specifics of what I'm, of what I'm actually eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, so if you're interested in that, please subscribe, please like the video as well. Um, I'm also gonna be posting um, a lot of content 
uh, just about uh, topics that are kind of more, I guess, generalist. Um, I'm studying now to be a health coach. I'm going to actually certify in February. Um, so uh, a lot of the content that I'm going to be posting is about stuff I'm learning, but I'm really going to try and focus it on, you know, people who are trying to recover um, from, from a terminal disease. So if that's interesting for you, if the diet is interesting for you, um, please like the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon.